Hi, I'm Dr. Andy Thompson, and I'm a rheumatologist. Today, I'm going to talk about infliximab for the treatment of inflammatory arthritis. You can visit our website, www.roominfo.com, and print off one of our infliximab picta pamphlets to follow along with this video. Infliximab is also known as Remicade. Infliximab is given by an intravenous infusion once every six to eight weeks. The infusions are given by a specially trained nurse at an infusion center. Some people can feel better quite quickly after starting infliximab, but for others it can take a little longer. Now there are a few things you need to do when taking infliximab. You should discuss these with your doctor. First, infliximab can make it slightly harder for you to fight off infections. You should stop taking infliximab if you develop a fever, if you think you have an infection, or if you're given antibiotics to treat an infection. Second, before starting infliximab, you should have a skin test and chest x-ray to make sure you've never had an infection called tuberculosis before. And finally, you should have occasional blood tests while taking infliximab. This is important to keep track of your arthritis and to make sure your blood counts are okay. Infliximab can rarely cause an allergic reaction during the infusion. These reactions usually aren't severe and you'll be closely monitored by a trained nurse. Infliximab should be stopped before surgery. It can be restarted once things have healed and there's no sign of infection. If you're having surgery, talk to your doctor about when to stop the medication. Infliximab hasn't been properly studied in pregnancy. Let your doctor know if you're pregnant, planning to get pregnant, or if you're breastfeeding. Patients have very rarely developed conditions of the nervous system and the immune system while taking medications like infliximab. You should discuss this with your doctor. Finally, medications like infliximab have been rarely associated with the development of cancer. Let your doctor know if you've had cancer before. If you're receiving infliximab, you should call your doctor if you feel sick and want to stop, or if you're concerned about any side effects. For infliximab, there are other specific reasons to call your doctor if you have a fever or think you have an infection, if you're planning surgery, if you're pregnant or planning to get pregnant, if you plan to get any vaccinations, or if you develop a rash. I hope you found this video to be useful. For more information, please refer to our website at www.roominfo.com.